combo ultrasound and electrical stimulation. Com this is a combination of ultrasound and electrical impulses to stimulate muscle and relieve spasm in trigger areas. Ultrasound serves as the active electrode in this case and the stem pad is going to be the disperser pad. So it's a monophasic current. The purpose of this is for the e-stem you're going to have the electrical massage and and the ultrasound will create deep heating or mechanical effects. The indications for this a lot of times are spasm, trigger point release, and to decrease pain and to get the dual effects of the e-stem and the ultrasound at the same time. Phonophoresis is movement of a chemical into the body tissue by increasing the cell permeability from sound waves. The chemical, and it's usually a medication, can penetrate up to six centimeters. Common medications that are used are hydrocortisone, which is going to be an anti-inflammatory, or dexamethasone, which is going to be for pain and inflammation. Typically, the, you have to mix the meds with an ultrasound gel, and the typical amount of treatment is treat once a day for 10 days, but you always have to watch the skin for reactions because people can be allergic to the medications. Indications are for inflammation or pain. Usually you do need a doctor's order. Contraindications are allergies and the same as ultrasound. The efficacy is questionable because some people do see results and some don't. Preheating can increase the penetration of the meds because you're increasing the permeability of the area. Leave remaining mixture on after to pr promote penetration as well. Diathermy uses non-ionizing electromagnetic energy from the radio frequency portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. It's high frequency alternating current but lacks the properties needed to depolarize motor or sensory nerves. High frequency electromagnetic energy passes through the patient's body and is absorbed by the selected tissue. Friction caused by the movement of ions produces the heat, so it's similar to ultrasound in that case. Treatment time is usually 20 to 30 minutes. There are a few ways to produce heat with diathermy. Capacitance. Body is placed in an electrical field. Heating occurs due to rapid rotation of dipoles, which are structures with positive and negative poles. As the, as the current alternates between positive and negative, the dipoles rotate to align with the electrical field. The greatest heating in this case occurs in the fatty tissue, so you do have to be careful of burns. The other way is inductance, which is heating of tissue in a magnetic field. The body is not placed in an electrical field. Magnetic waves are generated by driving an electrical current through coiled wires. Small currents or eddy currents are created in the tissue and this creates friction and heat. Greatest heating and in in inductance occurs in tissue with low impedance, which is muscle. This is preferred for d deeper tissue and it can penetrate up to 5 centimeters. There are three types of diathermy, microwave, long wave, which is the most penetrating but is not used often anymore because of the increased risk of berms, and short wave is the most commonly used because it is approved by the FDA and the frequency is set at 27.12 megahertz. Here's some short wave versus microwave. Thermal effects of diathermy are same as ultrasound, increased tissue temperature, increased metabolic activity, increased ATP production, increased blood flow, pain reduction, hematoma absorption, increased collagen bundles in the area, increased fibroblastic activity. Unlike ultrasound, pulsed does create, can increase the tissue temperature three to four degrees, decrease joint stiffness and muscle relaxation. Non-thermal effects, repolarized cell membrane potential, sodium pump is reactivated, speeds up wound healing, 
Um, classifications are going to be pulsed electromagnetic field and pulsed radio frequency energy. And the non-thermal range is low frequency, less than 600 pulses per second with a short phase duration of 65 microseconds. Indications are joint inflammation, so your itises, um, bursitis, tendonitis, synovitis, large muscle groups, very good for spasms, fibrositis, myositis, subacute and chronic inflammatory conditions, osteoarthrosis. Some of the good things to use it on, or one of the best things, are going to be your quads, hamstrings, just bigger muscle groups, backs. Contraindications are ischemic area, peripheral vascular disease, metal implants, because it is in an electrical field sometimes, perspiration and moist dressings, and this increases your chance of burns tendency to hemorrhage, fever, sensory loss, pacemakers, pregnancy, epiphyseal plates in children, genitals, eyes, infection, cancerous lesions. Precautions, many states require a prescription for it. In some machines you cannot allow the cables to touch. You do have to watch for perspiration because that in increases the chance of burn. It cannot be in direct contact with the skin and you have to be careful of excessive amounts of adipose tissue because this increases your risk of burns, especially with microwave. Here are the specific doses and um, indications for use along with the uh, settings for the machines. Here's a chart for ultrasound versus diathermy. 